All right, you know what that music means. It's game time, and the Warriors are back at it tonight in Sacramento for game two of their series with the Kings. And the Dubs, of course, lost game one at Golden One Center on Saturday. And to break it down, what happened, and so much more, I'm now joined by Whitley Sandretto from 95 7 The Game. Hey, Whitley, good morning. Hi, Gianna. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for waking up early. I know you've been very busy. You're actually in Sacramento right now. Let's talk about the game, though, Whitley. What do they have to do to get a win and tie up the series? For starters, crash the boards. They allowed the Kings to have 17 offensive rebounds. The Kings, they also had 21 second chance points. That just can't happen. Uh, Clay Thompson, it wasn't his best game on Saturday, but you've got to think he'll bounce back. He's a great player. Great players very rarely have two bad games back to back. Um, and also defend without fouling. They allowed a guy like Malik Monk to come off the bench, get to the line, he shot 14 free throws, and that simply just can't happen. No, it can't. And I think that was a big part of what hurt the Warriors with De'Aaron Fo De Fox doing really great too. Both of them in their playoff debuts win off. So how do the dubs contain them? De'Aaron Fox, I mean, once again, it starts with defending without fouling. Fox, he had... 12 free throws, and like I just said, Monkey had 14 free throws. So they got to defend without fouling. And Fox, actually, I think they would settle with him shooting threes. Yeah, he got hot in that second half, but for the most part, he's not a great three point shooter. So I think they would settle for that, but I think, too, you have to prevent him from getting hot in the second half. He's one of the best late game players in the league. Uh, so you have to find a way to slow him down. Most definitely, and defense is the key to that for sure. I, it was really nice to see Andrew Wiggins back in action. He made his return on Saturday. What do you kind of expect from him for the rest of the series? I think he's going to find his shot. I think Wiggins, considering the fact that he was off for two months, he came back in, he made his presence known on defense. Um, you know, he got to the rim a few times, but his shot is a little rusty. But when you've missed two months, that's kind of expected. And so I know post game Wiggins, he was very confident that his shot would, he would find his shot. Draymond, Steve, they all know that Wiggins will shoot the ball well. And I think it's only up from here, like Wiggins said. And I think he'll just continue to get better each and every game. Okay, Willie, I don't like to panic. This is only game two, but I don't like being down right out of the gate. So what is your prediction for the rest of the series? And especially tonight, what are we going to see from the dubs tonight? I am always going to take the Warriors in a seven game series. I will, until they prove me otherwise, they've just had too much experience. I said from the very beginning, I think it's going to be Warriors in six, and I still think it will be Warriors in six. Um, but I think tonight that you'll see the adjustments that they need to make. Steve Curry is one of the best coaches when it comes to that. You know, they watched film yesterday at practice. They didn't have an official practice, but they literally just studied film, came up with game plans. So I think they'll make the appropriate adjustment. And I, Fingers crossed, knock on wood, I think they'll get the win.